Welcome back once again. You're listening to the Entrepreneurial Web. Let's call this a special Friday the 13th fucking weirdo episode. We're broadcasting from an eerie, dreary, cloud-covered, half-empty New York City on a Friday afternoon. It's not, I mean, it's not quite dystopia. I, I didn't know what to expect coming into the, on the train. This is, this is usually the only time I come to the city. Uh, it's Friday afternoons to do the show. And usually it's packed and... It looks like a Sunday out there. There's still life. There's still people. For those of you not in New York and, and are not uh, connected or know exactly what uh, kind of has transpired in the last 36 hours or so, um, Broadway was shut down completely. Um, gatherings of 500 people or more have been banned. If your capacity is less than 500, you are being urged, in fact, almost enforced to work at half capacity. Uh, Mayor de Blasio last night uh, sent out a, a a message saying uh, it was specifically targeted at restaurants, which uh, hits me on a personal level and financial level, um, that you should only be half full at all times. You should not have all your seats full. And a friend of mine who posted that, who shared it on Facebook, who owns a restaurant across the street from my restaurant, said, well, do we get to pay our only half of our sales tax this month? So what's the fucking consolation going to be, Bill? I see you in the Night Street YMCA locker room sometimes. I might have a couple questions for you. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it's getting real. There's no lockdown, though. Schools are still open. Subways are still running. A lot of people, a lot of companies have opted to work remotely. Um, a lot of people have decided to stay home and or keep their kids home. Some people have left town. They're just like, peace, I'm out of here. Um, so it's, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely weird. Um, it kind of reminds me, did you ever see Friday the 13th, eight Jason takes Manhattan? I was a kid when that came out and it just struck me in a way. I was thinking about it last night. It's kind of spooky like that right now. It's just a little weird. I might get a mask on and run around and probably get my ass kicked if I do that. But, uh, <laughs> Oh, it's going to come from somewhere. So I was opening the show up again. Please call in. I had a great uh, conversation with my buddy, Andrew Barbara, who is, I'd say, the epitome of an entrepreneur. He and his wife, uh, freelance musicians. He does freelance graphic design. They own a keto cookie company um, and they keep it real and they're hustling it from all sides. So if you can give me a call, leave some comments. I need some stuff to talk about. Not really. I have plenty to talk about, but I would like to have some sort of focus. I want you to leave with something besides just listening to this baboon ramble for another 40 minutes. Uh, the number is 212-721-8183. Tom, Justino, where are you? You're supposed to be giving me a call, brother. This is his fault. This is one of my guys. He's a video editor and he and I have done a lot of work together and we hang out all the time. And we were hanging out in Della last night, having a drink. And he was like, I really, no, he texted me actually earlier in the day. And he said, I think you should really do a video just about what's happening, what's going on in the world. Do it, you know, in, in the context of your environment. He was like, I'll shoot it for you. I'll help you out. And then the next thing I get is a text from my guest for today <laughs> saying they weren't going to come. And I was like, you know what? I already have a camera. I've already got something set up. Uh, so this is Tom's fault. So, uh, I, you know, we were drinking. So I did, I was, I was all like, oh. I could do this. No problem. I'll go, I'll go do this by myself and, and issue a statement. But uh, if it's great, you can credit me. If it bombs, we're all going to blame Tom. And I think we have another <laughs> speak of the devil. We got a caller on the nine and his name is Tom. Tom, how the hell are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> Giustino, I was just blaming this whole situation on you. So I told everybody, um, if it goes well, they can credit me. If it's if it's a shit show, I'm gonna give them uh, your Instagram handle, and they can <laughs> they can flood your DMs, bro. <laughs> What's going on? So Tom here is a uh, he's a freelance videographer and photographer of the highest caliber. We've done some work together, and he makes everything look freaking amazing even this ugly mug thank you thank what's going you. on man how you feeling after last night did you i'm get, feeling good man did just, you get any uh, more shitty know, news <laughs> uh, i i've been trying to tune out the news as good. best as possible like i was telling you last night i think you know the best thing you can do is just go out and try and have that sense of normalcy right and if you can be away from media and be away from TVs and all that kind of stuff, it's it's a it's a real blessing. And 
just be around and have good conversations with people and that's it. That's all and, you can do. And have a roll of toilet paper with you at all times, just have in case. Have a roll of toilet like, paper. I don't God know if knows. Left. You never know what's going to happen. What I saw coming down the street, you know, people with just carts of them, but you know, whatever. We're going to roll we'll some fucking do. houses when this is all done, <laughs> we man. Do. So. We're going to be like kids again out but, in the street. Jesus. So yep. what did you go into work today? Did you, are you, are you doing some, I, some freelance? You doing some work? I actually like, you know, cause I write, I'm a freelance, you know, I'm a writer and director and I, I went into, I've got a writing space and, um, in Brooklyn, and I swear, I just I went in there, and it felt like I am legend, and I just <laughs> I, I left. I felt like I didn't get a memo or anything. The place was totally empty. Yeah, yeah. There were like doors open, like they were airing it out. Uh, so I was like, did I miss a memo that there's like it's spring? You know, all this is all this is really just strange. a really great so I just, spring. I just left, you. did a little bit of shopping. Yeah, you know, sending my daughter to a birthday party uh tonight and had to you know go get presents and stuff so just trying to seek normalcy that's right, all right um so, and then i was waiting to hear your show i nice. wanted you to go rogue man. i told you you, you got to tune in and go and rogue so tom suggested this and here we are um i, I you got to listen to the beginning i opened it up pretty hot we'll see where this goes <laughs> so a, a guy a, another gentleman from the neighborhood angelo andrew d'angelo is asking just now in the comments uh if people were buying 10 bottles of wine at a time last night do you want to answer that question <laughs> to you based off well, the of the the knowledge you have from sitting next to me last night at the bar yeah <laughs> yes <It seemed laughs> the like answer is yes 10 bottles of wine it was more like I 20 so everybody's going to, now I know why they need the toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. What's that? I got to ask you, yeah, I got to bring the absent guy back on so everybody can wash their hands and sanitize. Everybody's going to yeah. need the toilet paper because they're going to drink so much. They're going to have the shits based off the amount of alcohol that was consumed yesterday. You know, the other thing that bugged me out that I saw this morning, it was an article that de Blasio had laid out, like maybe some potential next steps if if shit gets crazy here and one of them was suspending the sale of alcohol and i was like you motherfucker you like literally that is the absolute wrong thing it's crazy but like i'm just like you just want to sink all my businesses so like restaurants have to operate at half capacity yet you should stop selling alcohol like what the fuck man what am i gonna do yeah. is he gonna make me an intern yeah. i'll be i'll be, I'll be yeah. a social media intern i'll teach him how to podcast when he gets they're, they're, they're they're when just he gets trying thrown to out us into our homes cowering in front of a TV. Right. I will not go quietly into that. Will not house. go quietly. We'll fight. I didn't Hell know you were Scottish. No. I thought you were Italian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so projections for you, what do you think is going to happen for work in your industry? I, I saw, especially on Twitter, I follow a lot of guys that, that do video work and photography, especially for companies. They help people you know, bring their, their marketing ideas to fruition in, in visual form. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, you were saying that one of the guys that you do a lot of work for, he's hardcore, he's old school. He's just like, fuck them. We're going to yeah, go. I'm going in. Yeah. No, no matter what, I will be in work next week because of some random thing that needs to get done for this book that's coming out or whatever. <laughs> Eat but, more vegans. <laughs> um, you know, so I, I know I will be going in, I'll be helping him. And to be honest with you, I, I almost prefer it. Um, just, you prefer you know, like I said stay normal, stay yeah, careful, yeah, absolutely, kind of stuff. But, absolutely. You know, I think it's a very important to, um, you know, when on a creative level, like video and photography and stuff like that, and you know, even writing is, you know, try to see it as an opportunity to yeah. pay attention to the stories that are going on, mm -hmm. uh, pay attention to way. Manhattan, you never want it to be empty for a reason, but there's always something about it when it's empty. So how it makes you feel and, you know, whether it's scared, whether it's, you know, isolated or whatever. So take a photo or, you know, write a page about it, right. uh, do a video. Right. Like I was telling you, it, yeah. like, let's, you know, it, it's people need to know what's going on. So yeah. it's like, you know, if I can take some pictures and share them and people can see New York operating normally, like, you know, I walked by a barbershop and this guy was getting his hair cut, like nothing was going on, you know. I think people <laughs> just think it's not business as usual and we're trying. We're trying to be business right. as usual. And I think for the most part, it kind of is. So it
depends on where you're well it depends on where you're at from it's where you're getting your news from so it depends on where you're at like manhattan is definitely taking a big hit in certain spots i mean all these all these service industries surrounding the theater district and and madison square garden and everything um that's that's going to take a hit but if you're in a small community like where we live uh people people could maintain a sense of normalcy as long as people are relatively healthy there's no evidence of any kind of you know, outbreak or anything like that. What, what I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing. It's just, I'm not, it's funny. You said opportunity, like there, there are clearly going to be some opportunities. I'm trying to just really maintain, I'm not looking for anything extra, but, but I said in the, the first portion that, um, you know, people are, people are going to be at home. Things are going to be done differently. People are going to, are going to certainly take to things like social media more. Um, if you have any kind of savvy with that, maybe a good opportunity for you and, and maybe you get to start something different. Uh, maybe a good old, another good old martial arts quote, uh, think something different, see something new, uh, in this time, it could be, it could be a little interesting. I just got a memo that said all New York city public libraries just closed from March 14th to 31st. Oh, Okay. So no books. So you're going to be no on social media. <laughs> you could be seeing a lot of me and Tom, <laughs> my face and Tom's work. Tom doesn't like yeah. getting in front of the camera. I'm going to turn it on him from time to time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't want to look at this as too opportunistic. I want to, I just want to be humble and cool and grateful to continue to survive. That's really the approach I'm trying to take. And if we can maintain some sense of normalcy in our community, uh, that I couldn't ask for more. Like if, if everybody walks away healthy and businesses don't go under, um, the ones that I think that matter, you know, the people that have really yeah. worked their asses off. I mean, the NBA will survive, <laughs> you know, yeah. they'll pick up the yeah, pieces next sure. year and they'll survive. Um, yeah. the people that work in support of the NBA, are the ones who I'm concerned about and the people that, uh, yeah, sure. the people that, have, that have worked, yeah. Yeah, the people that work their asses off to open a business that live day to day, like if I don't open, yeah. we don't survive. There's not like, I can't not open, you know, I can't operate at half capacity at all time. That's, that's, that's that you just gave, you know, my business coronavirus. That's crazy. That's some crazy. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're going to take another yeah. break, man. I really appreciate you calling in and you know, thank you. Well, I'll, I'll thank you at the end if this goes well for the impetus for doing the show okay. alone and <laughs> trying to all take right, this, grind this bowl. All right, bro. Thank I'll see you, you in the neighborhood. All right, everybody, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back in a few. You're listening to That's for Doing Our Web.